Welcome back to Dobre Cars, we're fast as a lifestyle. Today we're doing an updated car garage tour. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. We have some crazy cars here, some of the best in the world. Yeah, so the last time we did an updated car garage was what, like a, maybe almost two, two years ago. Two. So we definitely have some new cars and we do have some new cars coming that we're gonna say at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch the whole video to see what we got coming, what we're gonna get rid of, and yeah, what we got in store. We bought cars and we sold a lot, so you guys ready to see them? Let's yeah. do it. Thank you guys so much for your support, by the way. We're at 2 million subscribers, so thank you so much again. We got some crazy videos coming up. All right, should we start with the first car? Let's do it. So this is the newest car we got, the 992 GT3 RS, pushing 525 horsepower. Yeah, we actually recently just got this a couple weeks ago. If you guys have not watched that video, go watch them. This is the newest addition to the family. Like Margie said, we've been waiting almost a year for this one. Um, we got it in the shark blue. And actually, we've been told that you cannot get the shark blue anymore. This color was discontinued. So, really beautiful. Let's rev it. You want to rev it? Yep. Hey, you rev it. Yeah, we did put an aftermarket exhaust on it, so it definitely sounds amazing. Um, Yo, but it's not just an amazing car overall. How hard is this to get right now? It's almost impossible, right? Honestly, Marcus and I were so fortunate. Um, shout out to RDS for getting us this car. Shout out to Porsche of Philadelphia. Honestly, we were so lucky. It was God given to us, so we're so blessed yeah. to even be able to get the opportunity to spec one. And we're all super happy that the GT3 RS found its way back into the family and it's come back even stronger and more beautiful than ever. So congrats, and I'm excited to see this challenge, you know, the other cars and see how it yeah. does. Yeah, we're gonna be putting this, we're gonna be putting this head to head against our other cars to see how it compares. I would say right now it's around 490 wheel horsepower. So it's close, maybe close to 600, not quite, but yeah, it's gonna be fast. So this is my vehicle right now, the 2023 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. It's pushing 577 horsepower, 4.0 liter, V8 twin turbo engine. Uh, the G-Wagons are going electric, so this is the last and final fully petrol G-Wagon. And I love this car. It's always been a dream car of mine. The twins have had a couple G-Wagons and a 4x4. And I'm not gonna lie, I do love the 4x4. It's just not as practical. I park in parking garages a lot, and this one barely fits. So it's good enough for me. Um, it always turns next, and you know, I'm just happy because I love it. That's all I care about. And this thing sounds amazing. I mean, every time I pull up, it shakes the room or the windows if you're in a restaurant nearby. So let me start this engine up. Yo, you take this off-roading? Yeah, I do, I do. This thing is dirty. Yeah, that's the 2023 G63 AMG. This is my Ferrari 812 super fast, 6.5 liter V12. I'm gonna show you guys the hood real quick. This is called the 812 super fast because it has 800 PS, which is 800 Italian horsepower. That is 789 brake horsepower, 530 pound feet of torque. That's 718 Newton meters uh, for everyone else out there in other metrics. And this car is really fast, revs at 9,000 RPMs, top speed over 200 miles per hour. This is a super fast car, this is why it's called super fast, but let me open up this hood and show you how big this engine is, is a work of art. Ooh, that's a big engine. It's hand built and it is front mid engine right there. You really feel this car, when you're driving you feel the power and the sound is just musical, so. This is probably gonna be if not one of the last naturally aspirated V12s. Possibly, Ferrari, right? yeah, there is a successor coming out, the A12 successor, so we'll see what that's gonna do. It could be V12 naturally aspirated, or it could be V12 naturally aspirated with a hybrid engine. We don't know yet, Even we're gonna find out. Even faster than the Competizione? I think it's going to be, they're gonna probably use the same engine, um, and they're gonna up the horsepower probably 25. Lower the weight, right? Yeah, we'll, well, we'll see, we don't know yet. I mean, Ferrari, you know, they always keep it a secret until the time comes, but we'll know in May. <laughs> Oh my god, bro, what? Yeah. <laughs> if 
V12s can never go wrong with, bro. Yo, it's so loud, bro. Yeah, this car is a masterpiece for sure. Good job, Ferrari. Shout out to Ferrari Philadelphia as well. Hooking it up with my dream spec. So, um, yeah, let's go on to the next car. Next, we got this car. You guys already know. It's the 488 Pista, 488 Track. Um, this, this is the car that I've kept the longest since how many years? 2019, right? Yeah, probably like five or six years. Um, I don't see myself getting rid of this unless... I don't know. I don't see myself getting rid of this piece. I love it. Uh, 710 horsepower, around 3,000 pounds. This is my baby right here. Would you, would you get rid of this for the SF90XX, this picture right here? Um, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. I see this piece though. It keeps going up in value, so these are really hard to get. And they just, they just keep appreciating, so I don't know if I'm going to trade this in for the XX. It's not going to sound as good as the V12, 812, but it's a twin turbo V8, so that sounds pretty good. A twin turbo v8 that's good did you get an exhaust on it yeah does uh, this have an exhaust because yo the pizza came strong today it did. It yo that's loud <laughs> yeah i love it i know a lot of you guys were thinking that i sold the gt2 for the gt3 rs but i can never get rid of this car this is the gt2 rs uh it's an inline six pushing 700 horsepower i've had it for six years now and i just i can't get rid of it i can't yeah, a lot of people were commenting in our last video. Hey, Marcus, why did, like, did you get rid of your GT2 for the GT3 RS? So now you guys know the answer that we ended up keeping both. Um, we heard that the new 911s might end up going hybrid. So, Marcus, we don't know if, if he might trade in his GT2 for the new one. Probably not. We'll see. A lot of people are also wondering, hey, I want to see a race with the GT3 and GT2 RS. So stay tuned. You might see that in the next video. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> XXM competition. You guys already know this is one of the best super SUVs. You can use it every day. It's really fast. In my opinion, it is one of the best because honestly, I use it as a family car as well as our Dobre car racing videos. And this car is pushing 617 horsepower. This car is close to 5,000 pounds. Sounds amazing, drives smooth, and it's really comfortable. It actually has massage seats on the inside, so that's pretty crazy. But let me start it up for you guys. <laughs> good all right on to the next car let's go so we got the lamborghini urus performante here honestly in my opinion i think this is the best suv out right now um it's pushing 700 horsepower crank which That's is crazy crank. yeah it has a uh, stock yeah so we got this beast how much like we got this like two to three months ago three months ago maybe Probably three months ago yeah this is another new addition to the fleet apparently now with the urus performante it's hard to get the carbon fiber hood and the roof so Again, selling over sticker. Yeah. You know, you, some of you guys may think, oh, you guys are stupid for buying so many cars, but number one, it's an investment, and number two, it helps our business. So why not? Yeah, and we have, we enjoy it. This is our passion. Cars are our passion. We love driving them. We love feeling them. Just the feeling of it. Ever since we were kids, we just we just enjoy cars so much. Hey, right, let's hear it. It actually sounds really good. Oh yeah, these came in stock with a Kropovich exhaust, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Stock from factory. This car sounds amazing. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> Exhaust came stock with it. Sounds yeah. it's a beast, man. It's a beast. Yeah, it's a really cool SUV too. Um, is this the last V8 twin turbo? Yeah, Are they was, going hybrid? Yeah, I was just about to say that. So after this Performante, the next year is actually going to be a hybrid V8. That's what I. That's what we've heard. So this Pushing is the last. How much horsepower was it? 800. 800 horsepower. Yeah. Gotta keep this thing 
man. Yeah. Gotta keep it. We're gonna put this against the poor song and see how, how it goes. Alright, move on to the next car. This is our daily driver, the Ford Bronco, and it is lifted. Honestly, like, I think this is one of the best daily drivers. We get a lot of looks in this, yeah. and it was a good price. We definitely get a lot of tension in this. It's not the best car and most comfortable car to drive. It's definitely loud inside, but this is a, an amazing car for the beach. And look, look how big the wheels are. You know, we put the top down when it's, it's, it's getting a little nicer. Um, it's getting hot, so yeah, we're definitely gonna put the top down. <laughs> Yeah, like it. There's no point of having it because it doesn't sound like anything. So, yeah. yo, Christian, why are you hitting on our Tesla? Bro, I'm just not a fan of electric cars, bro. <laughs> but it's just a good, it is a good day. I shall rev it. <laughs> so, rev it. Let uh, me know. So, Marcus and I, we actually put an aftermarket exhaust on it. This is uh, the Tesla Model Y Performance. It's pretty quick. Yeah, 0 to 63.5 seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna rev it. You ready? Yeah, let me hear it. It's not a bad daily driver. Te don't don't hate on Tesla. Yeah, we enjoy driving this every day, so we're putting a lot of miles on it because we drive a lot. So what are the cars are we expecting to come to the garage? So looking at four to five months, we have my Lamborghini Revuelto coming in. It's a V12 hybrid. Here are some pictures. You guys can see it's fully spec'd out, ready to be ready to be built and shipped from Italy. So stay tuned for that. That thing is gonna be insane. And you, would you say you're keeping your G-Wagon for now? Yes, I'm gonna keep the G-Wagon for now. It's a solid hold. So with Lucas and I still have the Cybertruck in LA, but I might sell it because I'm going over sticker for now. So I might sell it, make some profit, and then like order a new one. Yeah, the, the Cybertruck is in LA because Marcus daily drives it when he when he goes to see his shawty. Yeah. So uh, I got the poor Songway coming. Here's a picture of it. I don't know if I'm gonna get it for sure, but I think I will. Um, I really want to get the special edition version of the poor Songway, but we'll see about that. If I get allocated the SF90XX, I will go and get that. Here's a picture of that. But other than that, maybe the cars that are going could be the model the uh, model y yeah we might trade on our model y for like a better daily driver because we do drive a lot maybe something that's gas powered well thanks for watching where you already know fast lifestyle make sure you guys like and subscribe got some crazy races and challenges coming up we love you all and see you on the next episode Damn.